and to extend his lead at the top. So stand by for the athletes. And here they go, 30 double unders, followed by 10 cleans at 100 kilos, 30 double unders, 8 cleans at 110, 30 double unders, 6 cleans at 120, 30 double unders, 4 cleans at 130, 30 double unders, and then finally finishing with 140 kilos. And the Matt road Fraser, speed straight in. <laughs> of Matt Fraser is unbelievable. Let's see. Is he Roman go? Fallon, though, though, give that guy again more, uh, more credit, I think. He is, well, are okay. you kidding me? So touch and go for a Matt Fraser. <laughs> no one in the other heats of men has gone touch and go. The only athletes we've seen have been the females. So this just shows how confident Matt is feeling. And about you can listen this. to that crowd, the reaction to the crowd for how quickly Matt Fraser is making his way through, this lift, through those lifts. That crowd is loving this effort. So Matt looking like he's already loading up his bar. We still yet to see anyone else roll their bar forward. So it's just highlighting. He, this is a statement workout for Matt, I think. It absolutely is. This is where his birthday, remember, maybe he's looking for that final little birthday cheer here at the workout. As he hits his 30th birthday, maybe he's trying to say, I'm not old, I can still do this. <laughs> There's no doubt he can still do it. And look, this guy is a, an incredible athlete. A lovely man as well, and he is looking at his uh, opportunity again to start his season in style. Final preparation for the games. So it's looking like lane four, Georges Caravis is also back on his double unders, but Matt Fraser leads. Is he going to... No, he's gone to singles now. Okay, if he'd gone touch Has that go, made you sad now, that Ben? Or no, it? that's actually made me relieved. <laughs> but still, very fast cycle speed. And here's Georges Caravis. And actually looking further up the line, Sam Stewart is onto his second set of cleans. And further out uh, is Andre Uday as well. So Sam Stewart there in lane eight. And Andre Uday just outside him. They're both on their second set of cleans. So that's eight cleans at 110. Matt Fraser is the first to roll his bar forward. So maybe a slight slowing in the pace there. But the other athletes seem to have done a bit of catching up. They've done well uh, to make their move. But Matt is loading up his bar for the next set. Let's keep an eye on who's going to be the first to roll forward um, in follow-up to Matt Fraser. And it's Georges Caravis. Georges Caravis is the next athlete to load his bar. And do you know what? I've been so impressed with him all weekend. He's always been there. And, you know, I think a performance here has got to do wonders uh, for his campaign to get that good Well, he's definitely ticket. got Lucas Hogberg in his sights, hasn't he, Georges? And he, uh, he knows that this is very much within his control, within his grasp, with good performances. If he can get himself ahead of Lucas going into the final day of competition, he knows it's in his hands. And Matt is already onto his third barbell at 120 kilos. Did he, even, did he even do those double unders? <laughs> I can confirm I saw on the wide, he picked up his rope and put it back down. So we'll assume he did. Unbelievable from Matt Fraser. Just that cycle speed, he's just so strict. He drops the bar and he is straight back. There's no messing, is there? He's straight on, he knows where his grip is. He knows what he wants to do. So rolls that forward, he will come back for four cleans at 130 kgs. So he's just loading that up. This is he the will final go back. time he'll load the barbell. This is at 3.44, so he is currently well ahead of that lead time set by Bronislav Alenkovic. This is Andre Uday you're seeing on your screen right now. I think the, the next race to look at is who is uh, going to come second. Just looking further down the field, you can see Hogberg there. Lucas Hogberg is now moving up to where Georges Caravis is in terms of the cycle of six cleans at 120 kg. So here comes Matt Fraser for his set of four at 130 kgs. 130 is 285 pounds, roughly. He's a full set of double unders and a lift ahead of Lucas Hogberg on the lane inside him. This is a phenomenal performance. And Lucas needs to be aware of our previous heats. Don't forget, they were lightning quick. So if he wants to stay up near the top there, he's going to have, have to pick up the pace a little bit. OK, so Matt Fraser is going back to his final set of double unders at 450, 448, 449. 
on his double unders. Now he's doing those in about five to eight seconds. He will come back for his final two lifts at circa 5.05. Let's see if I'm about right. That'll be good. Mm. Not far off. Not far off. Is he going to sprint? No. He's going to walk down the floor. He knows oh, that here's Bronislav the Alenkovic's time of six minutes is well within his sights. Is Bronis he to beat Kelsey's time? Is he going to beat Kelsey's time? <laughs> Different ways, but is he going to beat Kelsey's time? There's one. Ooh. Pretty easy, I'd say. Here we go. He's taking his breath. He's looking across the floor. There we go. He's lifting the crowd again. Happy Phenomenal day. work from Bat Fraser. He is in again for another, another event win. Wow, look at that.